All right, folks, so today we're back on the Xbox Series S, and this time we're going to be taking a look at VMU Game Save Management for the Flycast RetroArch Core. While Flycast does a great job of giving us virtual VMUs to save our games, the options to manage the saves on these VMUs definitely fall short. Now, in order to do this, your Xbox will need to have developer mode and RetroArch installed, and within RetroArch, you'll need the Flycast Core set up. If you've not already done that, you can check out this playlist here, which will walk you through the process of setting all of that up. Once you've got all that set up, there's just a few things we're going to need to do on the computer. So let's head over to the PC and get started. The first thing we're going to do is grab the VMU save file that we want to modify from our RetroArch installation. So in order to do that, open up your Xbox file share and click on the Windows Apps folder. Select the RetroArch installation. Click on the System folder. And then click on the DC folder. Within the DC folder, you'll see all of your virtual VMU files. Select the one you want to modify, and then just click and drag that over to your desktop. Once that's done copying, just minimize your Xbox file share window. Next, we're going to grab a copy of VMU Explorer, which is a VMU memory card management software. And for this, we're going to head over to Bluswell. So here we are on Bluswell, and in the downloadable tools section, just scroll down until you see the VMU Explorer and click the link right here. Once the file is done downloading, open up your downloads folder in a new window and open the zip file. Next, we're going to create a new folder to extract the files to. To do that, right click on the desktop and select New, Folder, and name the folder VMU Explorer. Once the folder has been created, select all the files and just drag and drop them over into the folder we just created. Nice and simple. Since we're also going to be looking at importing save files to the VMU, we're going to need a game save to import. So for this video, we're going to be taking a look at Capcom vs SNK2, since there's a couple of cool unlockables, Shin Goki and God Rugal. Just for reference, here's the player select screen with a clean save file loaded, and you can see Shin Goki and God Rugal are nowhere to be found. So let's see if we can find a save online that'll unlock both of them for us. There's a number of different sites that you can find game saves on, but today we're going to be heading over to GameFAQs. So here we are on the Capcom vs SNK2 GameFAQs page, and on the Saves tab, you can see there's a number of different game saves files. Pick the save file you want, and then just click the blue Download button to download the save file. I'm going to grab this DCI file, which seems to have everything that we're looking for. Once the file's downloaded, head back to your Downloads folder and drag and drop that file onto your desktop. Now we have all the files we need, open up the VMU Explorer folder and click on the VMU Explorer EXE file. In the pop-up, navigate to the desktop and click on the VMU file to load it. Within VMU Explorer, you'll see all the game saves that are on the VMU. Since I have a Capcom vs SNK2 save already on the VMU, I'm just going to delete that before we import the new save. To do that, select the game save and click Edit. In the drop-down, click Delete and then Yes in the pop-up to confirm. Next, we're going to import the new save file that we just downloaded. To do that, click on the File button. In the drop down, click Import File. Then in the pop up, navigate to the save that you want to import and click the Open button. Then your game save will be added to the VMU. Once the save's been imported, click on File once again and select Save VM. And then click Yes to save the changes you've just made. Now, if you want to back up your save files to your PC, all you need to do is select the save you want to back up, click File, and then this time click Export File. Select the destination where you'd like the backup file to live, and the save file will be backed up to your PC. Once you're done updating the VMU, click on File one last time, and then click on Exit. In the pop-up, click Yes to confirm that you want to close the program. OK, so now we're done updating the VMU, we just need to add it back to the RetroArch installation. To do that, just maximize your Xbox file share window one more time and drag and drop it back into the DC folder. Click Replace File in the destination, and once it's done copying over, we're all done on the PC. So let's head over to the Xbox and see what we've got. So here we are on the Xbox with Capcom vs SNK2 running through the Flycast core in RetroArch. So we're just going to start a game real quick to see if Shin Goki and God Rugal are unlocked. Okay, perfect. So right there you can see Shin Goki and God Rugal just like we were hoping for. Excellent. 
So that's the quick guide on how to back up and import game save files for the Flycast Dreamcast Core in RetroArch on the Xbox Series S and X. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also, don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.